Hey all, hope you all are good. Welcome to my channel Sri Bodhlokuri. In today's video, I am going to discuss about Databricks utilities. So you can say that uh, Databricks utilities are the function which enables you to make uh, your life easier to work with notebooks. So let's begin. I will create a new notebook. Let's give a, the name as notebook1. I will select as python only and I have already created a cluster ok so let's click on create so let's begin in my previous videos uh, I have shown the some of the magic commands and now let's continue with uh, discussing about Databricks and Databricks utilities so we will uh, so we, first utility that we are going to discuss is about uh, uh, about a file system databrick utilities so we will write db utils dot fs dot help So here you can see there will be a various functions that will be listed down here. Okay, so you can see that data utils dot fs fs stands for file system provides utilities for working with file system. Okay, so and so there are various functions such as mount mount refresh mount unmount update mount. Okay, then copy head ls mkdirs move put rm rm stand for remove okay so let's first check ls okay so let me copy paste it and just write remove this and write ls oh or we can do like this one also uh, fs we have to provide the path okay so you can see if you want to get a better look let's put it inside display so it will give you your output in form of uh, excel format okay so you can see inside uh, inside your root directory there is a folder name file store data brick data set where default uh, your default data sets are present then comes the result and then comes the user which is my me okay N now let's uh, use the head so what i will do i will just copy it paste here and let's check what's inside files okay inside tables inside that we have okay so let me copy it then agent one dot csv and here we will use the head function so it will return few i think 20 rows or so okay so uh, my data set have less than uh, have 13 rows so all data is being present here you can see a012 okay until from 0, 1 to 12 all data is being present here okay now let's go to the uh, another utility that is notebook utilities so we will write db utils dot notebook dot let's help first look at the functions that are present here okay. so here you can see there are two functions exit so exit functions give you uh, let you exit a notebook with a value and run is is the one of the method that is uh, enables us to call another notebook 
or you can say call a child notebook from a parent notebook okay so let's do one example of it let's let me create one more notebook uh, let's say let's give a name child notebook uh, okay let it be la i want it to be python only okay so what will like just write print let's write welcome to my channel okay let's run this cell and we will use dbutils.exit function okay db you can press tab to auto complete notebook notebook dot exit and we will write let's return hundred okay now let's run this also okay now let's go back to a parent notebook and let's write dbutils dot notebook dot uh, we will use run and let's pass the in uh, child notebook name that we want to run okay then the another parameter that it takes the time out okay so after time after these many of seconds your this command will exit let's give 10 okay and now let's run uh fail to enable okay 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 so this functionality is not uh available in uh this community free version we need to upgrade to uh premium version or run it from any uh cloud provider such as azure or aws okay so now let's look at the another uh utility okay it says yeah now let's let's look at another utility that is db utils dot widgets dot help okay so you can see these are the function available combo box drop down we can create a drop down we can get okay this is used to get the value when we are uh when we are running an, a child notebook and retrie retrieving its value whatever it is returning okay then comes get a room that is similar to get okay then comes multi select input widget and then comes the remove input widget then comes remove all remove all the widgets from the notebook then comes the text so we can create a text here uh, to uh, create a text input widget with a given name and default value so let me let's me create let's check whether we can do this inside it or not widgets dot text so i am creating a text okay widget let's give an uh, it it takes a parameter name and the default value okay let's give a name input input and okay default value and label let's keep um, let's give serif as default value and let's give a label enter the value enter the value okay okay at the top you can see here uh, you can see a text widget has been created with default value as serif if i change this to 
नल सो ओके लेट्स नाउ ओके इट्स नॉट रिफ्रेशिंग ओनली ओके लेट्स क्रिएट अनदर वी कैन क्रिएट अनदर और नॉट लेट्स चेक या यू कैन सी अनदर विजिट हैज बीन क्रिएटेड विद एम दिस टाइम एम टी ओके सो these are the some of the uh, uh widgets available let's check another if some others are available or not okay you can see okay fs notebook widgets we have seen let's click on uh, let's see secrets okay db utils dot secrets let me copy dot help okay so debutals dot secret enables us to get the secret value and its key okay list different uh, list down all the secrets that are created within a scope okay list scopes lists the secret scopes and last one returns the secret metadata for the secrets within the scope okay so secrets are helpful when you want to pass the encrypted uh, your password that you don't want to show so in order to open this what you need to do just copy paste it and uh, write has secrets dot create scope uh submission let's secrets slash create yeah so c will be small so here you can create a scope okay pass the dns name resource id scope name okay so th this is not available in the free version you have to create upgrade your subscription okay uh so this much only for this video stay tuned and uh, kindly like and subscribe to my channel to be updated about my upcoming videos so have a nice day